Hey guys, it's Patrick with MT Knives coming to you today with today's expert counsel segment of the week. Today's question comes from Eric. This question is for Patrick Roman. What is the best way to sharpen kitchen knives? Is it better to take it to someone who knows how to sharpen knives or can we get good results by sharpening them ourselves? There's a booth at our local farmer's market with a guy who sharpens knives. We wondered if it's worth the money to have him sharpen them or if we can buy the sharpening tools we need to do it ourselves. We have two sets of kitchen knives, an older set we got when we got married 24 years ago, and a good set we got about 10 years ago. Both, both have never really been sharpened other than maybe running it over a stone with not really any knowledge of how to do it correctly. Thank you. Eric, I'm gonna mess up his last name, but uh, Vanderwall? I'm going to answer this question the best I can with the information that I have. However, it'd be helpful to know how much the guy at the farmer market charges, what are the makes and models of the knives that you have, and some of that information. I recently was watching a video about sharpening, and the guy was kind of complaining about people teaching people how to sharpen with not an aggressive enough stone. And this is why I always recommend people not try to learn how to sharpen on a knife that hasn't been sharpened in 25 years. If you're gonna practice on a knife that hasn't been sharpened in 25 years, you need a super aggressive stone, maybe you know a diamond stone that's super coarse because it's gonna require a lot of steel removal to get that knife sharp. Um, I tend to recommend people have a knife professionally sharpened and then start to sharpen as it starts to lose its edge. And so then at that point, you can start with something like a thousand grit water stone. That's what I recommend people do, not to try to tackle a knife that hasn't been sharpened in 25 years. That's my recommendation. Have the knife sharpened and then maintain it. And the reason for this is, is because a lot of times when people try something out for the first time, if they fail, they just give up and they decide that they can't do it. So it's best to try to set yourself up for small victories, small successes. So I do like trying to learn how to sharpen on a kitchen knife because it's larger and it's easier to kind of tell the angle that you're working on. But I also recommend somebody that's trying to sharpen a knife like that to focus on one spot of the blade, like one inch of blade. Because to sharpen a full kitchen knife is going to take more work because it's such a large blade. So that's my recommendation. Now, as to the guy from the farmer's market, I have seen knives damaged by people who charge people to sharpen knives. And I've seen so many people out there that are sharpening knives that really just shouldn't be sharpening other people's knives. So it's hard for me to recommend somebody take a knife to somebody who I have no idea of their skill level, their qualification, and so forth. I do sharpen knives. You can send your knives to me to have them sharpened. It's not something that I try to do a lot of because I have enough work to do besides the sharpening and I don't want to spend my time sharpening knives all day long. So it's not, it's also, you know, not cheap, but it's done right. If you'd like to send your knives to me, go ahead and send me an email and I'll go over the process of getting some knives sharpened. As far as what tools do I recommend, the King 1000 Grit Waterstone has, has been what I've recommended over the years. I have some different thoughts now. My recommendation might vary based on the person, their budget, and what they want to do. I'm going to have some new videos coming out where I review different stones, um, some other options, diamond, water stones, oil stones, but the King 1000 grit is great if you're going to do, like I said, 
have it professionally sharpened and then just stay on top of the maintenance with that. If you were going to try to sharpen the knives that you have that haven't been sharpened for 25 years, I would recommend starting with something more aggressive and probably something mechanical. The other thing, when you have a knife like that that hasn't been sharpened in many years, depending on the use of it, the blade profile, anytime you get into removing a lot of steel or doing it mechanically, you can alter the profile of the blade. So that's where a professional knows the pro how the profile should look and can maintain the profile of that blade without changing it. Thank you for your question, Eric. If any of you guys have a question, feel free to send it to me, Patrick at MTKnives.net, and I'll do my best to answer the questions as I can. Thank you very much. This has been Patrick Rorman with MT Knives. Have a great day.